All right, let's go back to Ottawa now where the Public Service Alliance of Canada and its head, Chris Allward, are speaking. Uh, the ongoing worker strike at the CRA, two weeks and counting, 35,000 employees off the job. Let's listen to the update here. To the members at the Canada Revenue Agency who have been walking picket lines for the past two weeks, who, when Canada needed them the most, rolled out financial aid during the, uh, the pandemic to millions of Canadians. And now, during tax season, millions more are on the hook as the, the employer, the Canada Revenue Agency, and this government continues to play games at the negotiating table. Enough is enough. We want to see a fair deal on the table today. Our members are fed up, we're fed up, and our members need to get back to work and serving Canadians. And we're telling the government today that if we do not see a fair offer put on the table today, we will be at the Liberal Party of Canada Convention here in Ottawa tomorrow. Merci, Chris. Bonjour tout le monde. Alors, écoutez, il fait plaisir d'être là avec vous. Um, I'm sorry to be here with you. Our members have been on strike for two weeks across the country, the CRA, uh, because there has not been successful negotiations on the main issues. At Canada Revenue, there was an initial offer of a salary increase, and then they started to drag their feet at the negotiating table and refused to negotiate on the primary issues, pay, pay increases, remote work, and job security. I can say the fact that the CRA has given us an offer a few days ago, which we found to be insulting to our members and lower than what was negotiated with the other four bargaining units. So we are very insulted. Given everything that was done during the pandemic to provide assistance, emergency assistance Canadians and businesses as well, including $3 million in processing of benefits. So this makes no sense. Our members are insulted. They're tired and they're tired of waiting. It needs to stop today. The CRA needs to give us a fair contract that our members deserve. They continue to work during the pandemic, and if this does not happen, we will be at the Liberal Convention tomorrow in Ottawa. Thank you. Any questions? Yeah, does that mean, uh, are you saying when you're going to the Liberal Convention, that you're planning on disrupting or if we don't see a fair deal put on the table today we will be at the liberal party of canada convention in in ottawa tomorrow where's the you just raised it to that now is this still 20 percent 20.5 over three no what, what's the what's the ask well i mean again you know we, we've compromised uh, i'm not going to say exactly where we're at or where each side is at but i can tell you as i said earlier that the deal they have on the table currently is less than the deal that we reached on Monday with Treasury Board units. And we, we don't know why the Canada Revenue Agency is playing this game. So what, in, are there any other pay statements other than just wages? Are, are wages the last one? No, I mean, the, the, the core issues are certainly wages, remote work, and job security. Would you accept the same deal that was offered to the staff members? That's up to the uh, UTE bargaining team, uh, but they haven't even seen that. Uh, offer yet. Are you asking for much more than that to CRA members? Is that a reasonable offer in your mind? Well, look, I mean, our bargaining teams, they, they set their, their mandates, their own mandates. And uh, at the time that the Union of Taxation Employees the bargaining team were going into bargaining, inflation had jumped up uh, considerably higher than when we started in June of 2021 with the Treasury Board units. So that's why our Canada Revenue Agency of bargaining team uh, set their wage demand as they did. There's been several passes uh, by both parties this week. Okay. Yes. Okay, next, uh, what would you have to say to CRA members who are getting you know, tired on the picket lines and kind of losing hope? First of all, I want to thank each and every single PSAC member who walked picket lines for the last two weeks. For our, our members at the Canada Revenue Agency with the Union of Taxation Employees, they've been out now an additional three days while this employer 
plays games at the negotiating table. Solving, solving the labor dispute with the Treasury Board lack some solidarity with your CRA employees who are still out on strike? Do they lose some leverage from the fact that they were in the deal for a larger section of employees that are out on strike? Well, I mean, certainly, uh, you know, last week we had, uh, you know, 117, 120,000 members uh, on strike. As of Monday, uh, we had 35,000 members uh, left out there. The 120,000 members from uh, the Treasury Board uh, could not go on strike on Monday because we reached a tentative agreement uh, Sunday night, uh, and therefore they would have been in an illegal strike position because we reached an agreement. And maybe I just don't understand the complexities of bargaining here, but why, why reach a deal for the Treasury Board and not for CRA at the same time? Does the, do the CRA employees now lack leverage that they could have had if you could have stayed out? No, they, there's still 35,000 uh, Union of Taxation employees who work at the Canada Revenue Agency uh, walking picket lines. So, I mean, there's, there's still leverage there, uh, absolutely. And, and they will continue to walk those lines uh, until we see a fair offer from uh, the Canada Revenue Agency. And so, to be clear, you're, you're saying that the government wouldn't come to the table with the CRA. That's why they're still on. Like, why, why couldn't it be solved at the same time? But I, that's a that's a question for the government and for Treasury Board. Um, Why couldn't they do that? The, uh, the, C the CFIB uh, is saying that the filing deadline for small businesses is coming up June 15th, uh, and I've called for back to work legislation. And I was wondering if you had any um, comment on that. Uh, look, I mean, the Canadian Federation of Independent Business they they got to do what they got to do, uh, but certainly uh, nobody is contemplating back to work legislation from what we understand, which is a good thing. Well, I don't think so. Um, I heard the Minister of National Revenue, uh, Diane de Boutier, said that she had the best tax season of her since 2015. I don't agree with that because our call centers were practically closed except for the essential services. And uh, there's normally a million calls a week uh, during the peak tax season. At the All right, rate. so we're listening to the Public Service Alliance of Canada. They had Chris Allward there in the background as well as the uh, taxation union uh, because the Canada Revenue Agency is still on strike. Two weeks and counting, 35,000 workers are off the job. The government came to a deal with another large group of federal workers earlier, but these 35,000 are still off the job. They have higher demands. They want more money than the other workers do, uh, and the government so far is not willing to budge or not willing to give them those demands. Not a lot new here, by the way, basically just reiterating the fact they're unhappy with the federal government. Also, they are promising to attend the Liberal Convention coming up, no doubt to protest or picket outside. Try again to put pressure on the Trudeau the government. All right.